kiddos. Okay, so today we are going to work on pronouns. Now, you're going to lose my video, like the video of me for just a few minutes, but um, we'll pop back on here and you'll see me again. Um, but what we want to do is we want to work on pronouns. So if the nouns was a little bit of a struggle for you, you may want to go grab a piece of paper, uh, maybe take a couple notes. It's up to you how you want to do that. You got, um, you had a notebook sent home with you. You can use that to take notes in. Okay. And um, that way, when you go to work on the task cards, they're going to look exactly like the noun task cards from yesterday. When you go to work on the pronoun task cards, you'll have some notes there um, to help you. So if you need to pause this video to go get some paper, go ahead and do that now. And then we are going to work on some pronouns. Okay, kiddo. So if you grabbed a piece of paper, we are ready to launch into our pronouns. Like I said, you may lose my little video box for a minute. Don't freak out. It's just because I'm in. Oh, I'm still there. Yay. Okay, good. Okay, so today we are working on um, pronouns. We talked about parts of speech yesterday. We are going to take one of these a day and just kind of work through them. Yesterday, we focused on nouns. Today, we are working on pronouns. So I've got to get through all of the noun stuff. So here's, here's a really, really fast review for you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and so what we're going to do today is just like what we did yesterday. I'm going to run through this PowerPoint with you over pronouns. Then you are going to, um, Get to work on some on some task cards, just like we did yesterday, where you're going to click on every word that you think could be a pronoun. Okay, so here we go. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of one or more nouns. So I know that that's kind of hard to understand. So let's look at it. Here's a sentence. K rides the bike. Who rides the bike? K. She is a noun, right? We also know that bike is a noun. But what we're really focusing on are the people today, the who, okay, the, that, that part of the noun that is a person. So K rides the bike. If I wanted to replace that with a pronoun, I would take K away and I would put something in instead like she, she rides the bike. So pron pronouns are going to be anything that takes the place of a name. So instead of saying K, here we are saying she, okay? So let's look at another one. I asked Jane and Dan, let me move my box over here so I'm out of the way. I asked Jane and Dan, what are the names in this sentence? Jane and Dan, right? They're in purple. It's easy for us to see. If I take Jane and Dan away, I can put something in like them. I asked them. So anytime that I use a word in place of a name, that is going to be a pronoun. Okay? So singular pronouns. Singular pronouns means that we're talking about only one person, okay? We are talking about only one person. So here's our word one, one person, place, thing, or idea, okay? So let's see what that looks like in a sentence. I, you, he, she, it, me, him, her. One thing that I want you to notice is the only word here that does not talk about a person is it, okay? It's it. So if I asked you a question like, did you do your homework? I could say, did you do it? And it takes the place of homework, okay? So all of these words here are what we call pronouns. Kiddos, if you have a piece of paper in front of you, this may be a good time to write them down in your journal and say pronouns are, and then write down all of these pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, me, him, her, okay? All right. Dinah washed the car. Okay. We've got our nouns highlighted in purple here. Um, the is not a noun. The is what we call an article, um, but it's there because it's going to attach to um, attach to car. So we've got Dinah and the car. So let's see what that looks like if we were to put a pronoun in their place. So I can take Dinah away. She. So Dinah washed the car. She washed the car. Means the same thing, kiddos, but instead of saying her name, I'm putting a pronoun in. Let's look at the other one. If I take the car away, it. So instead of saying Dinah washed the car, I'm saying she washed it. It is taking the place of the thing, okay? All right. Plural pronouns are just like singular pronouns, except they are talking about more than one, okay? They take the place of the name of more than one noun. So let's look at some what 
um, what some plural pronouns look like. We, you, they, us, them. These are all words that we can use to take the place of multiple people or things. Um, this is also something that would be really good for you to write into your journal. So going ahead and writing all of these words down. So that way, when you're working on your test card, if you see these words in the sentence, you're like, oh, that's a pronoun. I know that. And you can click that word. Okay. So let's look at what some of these look like in a sentence. Sean and Ty ate the cookies. Okay. Who are our people? Sean and Ty. What is our thing? The cookies. Let's see what it looks like if I take the names away. So Sean and Ty are names. Cookies. Those are names. I'm naming what I'm eating, right? The thing, the thing are cookies. If I take my names away, what can I put in their place? So what would you, what do you think? Let's go back one. What do you think I'm going to put in place of Sean and Ty? Look at your pronouns here. Which one do you think makes the most sense here? We, you, they, us, or them? They. Okay. They ate. Let's take the cookies away. What makes sense to put them there? Them. Okay. They ate them. Now, do I prefer you when you're writing to write sentences like this that have lots of detail? Yes. But for the purposes of you knowing what a pronoun is, it's really important that you know that they and them is taking the place of names. Okay? Y'all are rock stars. We're doing good. Stay with me. Okay, so I'm going to give you some sentences. And you are going to take out the names and we're going to put some pronouns in instead. So that's where having those pronouns written down in your journal are going to be really, really helpful for you. Okay, let's go back for just a second in case you need to write them down. I'm going to give you a minute to do that. Here are your singular pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, me, him, her. If you need to pause this video to write them down, go ahead and do that. Let's look at our plural pronouns. If you need to take a second to write these down, you can pause the video and do that. We, you, they, us, them. Okay? All right, here we go, kiddos. I'm going to give you some sentences. We're going to take the names out, and we are going to replace them with some pronouns. Megan walks on the beach. Okay. I want you to pause this video. In your head, what pronoun that you just wrote down on your notebook paper what pronoun makes the most sense by Megan, instead of Megan? If I take Megan out, what makes the most sense? She walks on the beach. Very good. Okay, let's do another one. Lily and Sam walk on the beach. Pause this video. What pronoun makes the most sense in place of Lily and Sam? They walk on the beach, okay? I'm using they because it's Lily and Sam. It's more than one person. I've got two people, right? I can use she because there was only one person for Megan, but I have to use they because there are two people, Lily and Sam, okay? Very, very, very good. That was a short one today, kiddos, so not that bad. So what you are going to do now is you are actually going to work on the task cards, okay? Oh, I don't want to lose my video, so I'm going to keep it small so you can still see me, okay? All right, so let's look. You'll hit next. Look at this, kiddos. It is just like what you did yesterday. Instead of finding nouns, though, we are finding pronouns, okay? I'm actually going to do this first one for you because I had lots of questions yesterday about nouns. So I'm going to do this first one for you, and then I'm going to let you loose, and you can go and work on this on your own. This is where having those no words in your journal are going to be really helpful to you. So if you didn't write them down, you can rewind this video. You can go write them down before you work on these task cards, okay? Here we go. Identify the pronouns in the sentence below. He cleaned the house before they came over. One thing I like to do, kiddos, is I like to think about my nouns. I know he's a noun, house, they, okay? But what do you notice about house? It's a name of a place, right? House is the name of a place. But he and they are not names of people. I don't know who's, I don't know who cleaned. I don't know who's coming over. It didn't tell me the name. It used a pronoun instead. So right down here, you can see that there is every word from the sentence right down here. So I am going to click on he, and I'm going to click on they. Those are the two words in this sentence that I think are pronouns. Now, kiddos, some of these task cards are going to have 
four. Some of them are only going to have one. It's going to change each task card. So your job is to do what I just did, to read through, think about, is this a pronoun or a noun? And we want to choose every one that is a pronoun. So after you've chosen them, you can hit next, and it's going to take you to the next one where you're going to do the exact same thing. Thing. Okay, kiddos. So if you have questions, shoot me a message on Remind. Yesterday I made sure that everyone was on my Remind. So shoot me a message on Remind. Leave a comment on Google Classroom. Um, the best thing to do, kiddos, is to leave a private comment, not a class comment. Okay. So on your like, if you're working under your work, there's gonna be a little comment spot, and you that's the best place to leave a comment. Okay. All right, guys. I can't wait to see the awesome work that you do. Let me know if you need any help, and I will see you guys later.